When it comes to the Halo franchise, I absolutely enjoy it. I'm not the best at Halo, but I still really enjoy it. So that is why we're looking at the Halo add-on created by Garcia1490. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you. We're going to begin with the Grunts, which are the weakest troop in the Covenant, but they can be a big problem if there is many of them. There is the Grunt Minor, the Grunt Ultra, the Grunt Special Ops, Special Ops 2, we have a Grunt Major, a Grunt Heavy, and a Grunt Imperial. The Grunt Miner has 80 HP and spawns on easy difficulty. He is orange and blue and old the Needler. And the one thing about the creatures is when you take them out, then they will drop a dead body. And then if you whack the body, then they will drop the loot, which I definitely like quite a bit. So for this instance, we got his weapon, which was the Needler. We got a Plasma Grenade, and we got Needler Ammo. And then we have the Grunt Ultra, which has 115 HP and spawns on easy difficulty. The Grunt Ultra is a white grunt and he's gonna hold a plasma pistol. For his drops, we got the pistol. Next up is both of the special ops. Both of them have 130 HP and spawns on normal difficulty. Both of these grunts are gonna be wearing black armor and they can don three different weapons. They can have a needler, a plasma cannon, or a plasma pistol. When you take out their body, then they will drop a plasma cannon and some ammo for that cannon. But just so you know, the add-on is not in English, so you might have difficulty reading this, so you might have to pull up a translator. Next up is the Grunt Major, which has 90 health and spawns on easy difficulty. These are red grunts, and usually hold a plasma pistol. Their bodies will drop a plasma pistol and some ammo for the needler. And then we have the Grunt Heavy, which has 100 HP, spawns on easy difficulty. And this grunt is green, and usually holds a plasma cannon. And their bodies will drop a cannon, and some ammo for it. And for the final grunt is the Imperial, which has 145 HP and spawns on normal difficulty. And this grunt is purple and usually holds a needler. When you take them out, then they will drop a needler, they will drop a plasma grenade and some ammo. And next up, we have Jackals and Skirmishers, which are family breed and they are weak. We have the Jackal, which has 115 health, spawns on easy difficulty. And then we have the Skirmisher, which has 125 HP and spawns on hard difficulty. The Skirmisher usually spawns with a beam rifle and the Jackals are have a plasma pistol. When you take out the jackal, then they will drop a pistol and they will drop some ammo. When you take out the skirmisher, then they will drop a rifle. And then we have the elites, also known as the Shangili. They are intermediate level in the covenant. And they have more resistance in combat. And there are quite a few variations. We have the elite minor, the elite minor 2, the elite major, the elite ultra, the elite ultra jetpack, Elite Stealth, Elite Spec Ops, Elite Zilliot, and Elite Zilliot E. The Elite Miner has 150 plus 20 health and spawns on easy difficulty. I think the plus 20 means that it can have anywhere between 150 and 170, but I'm only guessing. And this is what they look like. They are going to be the blue elites, and they usually hold a needler. But one thing that makes these guys different is when you hit the elite, they will activate a shield, and then the shield will go away. And after you hit them again, then they will end up dying. And when you take them out, then they will drop some ammo, a needler, and a plasma grenade. And then we have the other variation, which is the Elite Miner 2. These Elites are also blue, but they will hold a different weapon, which is called a Carbine. When you take out their bodies, then they will drop a Carbine, a Plasma Grenade, and some Carbine Ammo. And then we have the Elite Major. Now, I do know this is Mare, but as I explained earlier, this is in a different language, so things are not going to translate properly. These Elites will have 170 plus 20 HP, and they spawn on easy difficulty. These are going to be the Red Elites, and also hold a Needler. When you take them out, then they will drop a plasma rifle, a plasma grenade, some ammo, and a carbine ammo. And then we have the Elite Ultra and the Elite Ultra Jetpack. The regular Elite Ultra will have 200 plus 20 HP and spawns on easy difficulty, while the one with Jetpack only has 200 HP and spawns on normal difficulty. The regular Elite Ultra will have a beam rifle. The Elite Ultras can also wield an energy sword. When you take out the Elite Ultras bodies, then they will drop a plasma launcher along with launcher and brute shot ammo. And plus the one with the jetpack can also fly, so you have to be very careful with this guy. When you take out the jetpack elite, then they will drop a plasma rifle. Next up is the Elite Special Ops, which has 230 plus 20 health and spawns on normal difficulty. And these are going to be the Black Elite, and their weapon of choice is a needle rifle. And when you take them out, then they will drop a needle rifle, a plasma grenade, and some ammo for the needle rifle. We're now down to the final two elites, which are the Elite Zalot. The Elite Zalot has 270 plus 20 health and spawns on normal difficulty. 
while the Elite Zelda E has 260 plus 20 health and spawns on hard difficulty. These Elites are going to be wearing golden armor. The regular Zelda will have a plasma rifle, while the Elite Zelda E has an energy sword. The Elite Zelda E will end up dropping a plasma rifle and a plasma grenade. The Elite Zelda E's will drop one energy sword. Next up we have the Brutes, which are stronger than the Elites but are less intelligent. Even so, they are dangerous in combat. And there are three variations. There is the Brute Captain, the Brute Chieftain, and the Brute Honor. The Brute Captain has 226 health and spawns on easy difficulty. These brutes are purple and they are going to be using a mauler. Sometimes if you attack the brutes then they will go into a crawling pose which is actually kind of funny. When you take out their bodies then they will drop a red plasma rifle, a plasma grenade, a mauler, and some mauler ammo. The brute honor wears some red armor and as a brute shot. And when you take them out then they will drop a brute shot and when you take them out, then they will drop a brute shot and some launcher and brute shot ammo. Brute Chieftain has black and red armor and holds a gravity ammo. It looks like he has a face on his back. That's actually pretty creepy. Next up we have the Hunters, or also known as the M. Galigolo, which are the strongest troops of the Covenant. And there are two variations. There is the Combat Evolved variation and the regular variation. Combat Evolved variation has 700 health and spawns on easy difficulty. While the regular Hunter has 1200 health and spawns on hard difficulty. Whenever it comes to fighting these in the games, I really do not like it because they are so tough. This is what the hunters look like. The combat evolved variation this is by far probably my favorite one. Both of them also hold the same weapon, which is the assault cannon, along with some shields. Finally, we're on to the nightmare, which is the flood. The flood's duty is to infect enemies and turn friends into parasites. We have the flood infection form, the flood carrier form, the flood brute, the flood UNSC, the flood elite, the flood elite 2, and the flood soldier. All flood forms start out as the infection form. The flood infection form's job is to infect your friends and enemies and turn them into parasites. We also got the flood carrier form. Now once the thing gets close to its enemies or even gets attacked, then it will explode. So you must be very careful around this guy. Once it does explode within the games, then it will throw out some spores. And that's what's going to affect you. But at least you can't get infected in Minecraft. If a brute gets infected, then you get the flood brute form. If a UNSC is infected, then you get the flood UNSC form. If an elite is infected, then you get the flood elite form or you'll get the Flood Elite 2 form. There's also the Flood Soldier. When you take out their bodies, they could drop a red plasma rifle, a plasma grenade, a mauler, and even mauler ammo. And then we have the Flood UNSC, which is not as scary, but holds an assault rifle. When you take them out, then you can get an assault rifle, and you can get some SMG and rifle ammo. I would also like to mention that once you take out one of the forms, after a few seconds passes, then they can come back to life. Definitely a pretty scary fact. The Elite form can hold energy swords, or even a plasma a rifle. And the Elite 2 form does not have a weapon. But once you take out either of these forms, then you can get the same stuff, which is carbine ammo, plasma rifle, plasma grenades, or even nuclear ammo. And finally, we have the Flood Soldier, which is going to hold a rocket launcher. And when you take them out, then you can get a launcher and even launcher ammo. But however, that's not it for all the mobs in the add-on. Inside this chest, we have a bunch of others, including some vehicles, such as the Spirit, the Wraith, Pelicans, and the Pelican 2. But unfortunately, we're not able to ride these vehicles, but hopefully in the future, there might be a way to do so. First up is the Spirit, which are the Covenant's transport vehicle they use for their troops. And if you're playing in survival mode, you need to be careful, because these things will shoot at you, and they pack a punch. And then we have the Wraith, which is a heavy vehicle of the Covenant. And luckily, if you're playing in survival mode, the Wraiths will not shoot at you. And luckily, if you're playing in survival mode, the Wraiths will not shoot at you. But then we have the UNSC transports, which are the pelicans. This is the first pelican and you actually can fly this one. It is fairly tricky to do so if you're in third person. But at least in first person you can see where you're going but it is still somewhat tricky to do so. And then we have the pelican too. Now this is one that you cannot control yourself. And then we have a bunch of different characters. To begin with it's Miranda and Jacob Keys. There's Miranda Keys and here is Captain Keys or Jacob Keys. Oh he even comes with some crew members. That's actually pretty cool. Captain Keys is going to be equipped with a needler and Miranda Keys is going to have an SMG. The crew members are going to be equipped with some pistols. And then we have my favorite character, Sergeant Johnson. Ooh -ah! Everyone loves Sergeant Johnson. He has his lovely assault rifle and he's ready for business. We have Emil A239, which if I remember correctly, this is the Spartan with the skull on his face. 
Yes, I was right. This is also the Spartan from Halo Reach. I definitely remember this guy quite a bit. And then we have the Spartan you play as in Reach, which is Noble Six. We have 343 Guilty Spark. Oh my goodness, this is really chaotic. Oh, Jacob, why are you shooting it? Jacob is literally trying to kill him. Oh, he's underwater. Not good at all. Oh, what have I unleashed on this world? Get him, Sergeant Johnson. Looks like Sergeant Johnson defeated Guilty Spark. It looks like Sergeant Johnson also has a sniper. And next up, we have the crewman. We have crewman 1, crewman 2, and crewman 3. Crewman 1 is going to be red with the pistol. Crewman 2 is yellow with the pistol. And then we have Crewman 3 which is blue and it looks like he has no weapon. We're going to move on to our next row of characters. First up is the Marine which they're going to have different weapons. We have one with a sniper, one with an SMG and the other one with a battle rifle. And then we have the ODST variations which one as an SMG and the other one as an assault rifle. And then we have the Arbiter. The Arbiter is basically in charge of his own army. It's definitely a pretty cool character. We also have the Master Chief himself. Definitely a pretty cool guy. And he even has his iconic assault rifle. We also have our final enemy, which is called the Promethean Knight. Definitely one of the toughest enemies in the games. And I definitely do not like these guys at all. Man, Master Chief and this knight is really going at it. Oh my goodness. The Master Chief just won the fight. That was a crazy battle. I think that might be a different Master Chief. Because we have the assault rifle laying here. That means they both died together. Very, very tragic. But hey, that's going to be it for all the different characters. But we're not done yet. Because we also got ourselves a bunch of different weapons. We have our plasma pistol. We have our needler. Our needle rifles. We have a plasma launcher. A beam rifle. A beam rifle. And if you crouch, you can zoom in. I got my target. And fire on the butt. We have the carbine. We have our blue and red plasma rifles. We have a light suppressor Z-130. We have the fuel rod cannon, the brute shot, assault rifle, the battle rifle, we have a sniper, we have the SMG, which unlike the other weapons, you actually have an ammo count. And once that is zero, then you'll be given a different item, which is the sub fossil empty, which is basically the empty SMG. We have our pistol, we have a DMR, we have a shotgun, a rocket launcher, the mauler, we even have a grenade that you can throw. We also have the plasma grenade, which will stick to any surface. And our final weapon is the assault cannon. And we even get our own set of manor armor, which is definitely pretty cool. As long as you're wearing the armor, then you get a few status effects. You'll get speed 4, jump boost, regeneration 3, resistance 5, and fire resistance 6. The add-on also includes some new melee weapons, including an energy sword, a machete, and a gravity hammer. The energy sword does 15,000 attack damage, the machete 70 attack damage, and the gravity hammer does 7,000 attack damage. And that's going to do it for everything in the Halo add-on. Now from everything introduced within here, including the weapons and mobs, if you are a Halo fan, you're definitely going to enjoy this add-on. But down below in the comments, go ahead and let me know what you think of this. And if you want to get this add-on, then there will be a link in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, then consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're on here, and don't forget to turn on notifications. But for now, I will catch you next time. Goodbye.